guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, your host. Please do click subscribe because we have tons of new drones coming to the studio each week. And also follow our Instagram because you're gonna see pictures of new stuff before the videos even come out. This week is Drone Nationals and what a better week to show off the JJ Pro 200. A lot of guys are looking to get into drone racing. If you're a beginner, this is a great quad for you. It is sitting on an X frame and it's fairly, fairly durable looking from what I can tell right out of the box. It also has nice race spec motors on here with the red bottoms. I know you guys like that kind of candy. And also the nice uh, 30 amp ESCs. I believe they are 30 amp. Just wanna double check on that. No, no, 20 amp. So no big deal. You can still run this thing three or four S. Very, very nice from JJ Pro. This is their first entry into the drone racing market. They've done tons of other really nice, high quality toy drones. And now these guys know what they're doing, so they're moving into the racing circuit. Very, very good idea from JJRC. So, introducing JJ Pro. Let's check out some of the specs. But first, before we do that, we're going to go outside and we're going to show you some flight footage of just how awesome this thing is on 4S. Check it out. Welcome back to the studio guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that flight footage. This thing is pretty awesome on 3 and 4S. Uh, 3S was very, very snappy and very quick and 4S was just out of my mind boost um, with this thing straight up. And if you're in racing circuit and you're trying to qualify for drone nationals, if you're on 4S on this thing, it corners like crazy. So very, very tight corners and fast acceleration on this copter. Now it does have nays on here. It's built right into the flight controller. That's pretty awesome. They're not using CC3D on this, which I'm very happy about. You have a battery protector on the bottom as well. So in case you go in battery first, you're not gonna damage your battery quite as bad as you would. The strap's already built in here, comes around the bottom. You have these really, really nice red bottom. These are race spec. Emax 2205s. Very, very high KV on here at 2300. So if you're needing quick acceleration, the coils in here look pretty nice. They're pretty tightly bound in here and a, a decent gauge on the copper coils and the motor. So definitely a sought after motor in the racing industry. You got a pretty good camera tilt on here as well. That is adjustable for you guys. That's probably about 60 degrees almost right there. So it's pretty high, maybe 45 to 50 degrees. You can bend it back a little bit and tighten up the bolt on the side and you can get it a little bit lower if you want to come in, not quite as high. You got your five point 
8 gigahertz antenna on the top here as well. And these are replaceable. If you want to add a nicer antenna on here, you could, but this one's perfectly fine for in the field and just running around. You got your 20 amp ESCs on here, and those are very, very sufficient for 3 to 4S. It's what most of us have been running. So JJRC, they did a good job at putting this X frame together and making it ready to fly for us. A lot of people want an X frame, they just don't feel like building stuff. So this is a really nice quad, but right out of the box, it does not come set up in acro mode. Like I said, you're gonna to have to set that up in clean flight, but I plugged in the USB cable to clean flight and it loads right up. So no problem there. I'm already in clean flight and I can change my modes, my settings, the way my fail safe is set up. I can go over here to the CLI and I'll just check for you to see what version of NAS is on here. I'll type in version. And we have clean flight version 1.13. So 1.13 and it's June 6, 2016. So this thing is fresh off the boat. It has the latest and greatest clean flight um, version of NAS on there, which is really, really nice. So, and it's upgradable later. If you want to update the firmware, you can do that inside clean flight. So very, very nice. So let's go ahead and let's, let's show you the rest of the accessories that came with the JJRC P200. So first and foremost out of the box, you do get the transmitter. And this is a standard 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It does have two three position switches on here that are programmable inside clean flight. So you can add acro to this later and set up your beeper on one of these switches as well. So very nice. Also a, a bind button, your on off switch here. It is set up in mode two. It might be set up available in mode one. I'm totally not sure. It does have a trainer bind um, option here on the back. So if you want to buddy box with somebody and let them fly the quad, you can do that for new guys, which I love to do. On the back, you also have four double A's that you have to put in here yourself. I use the rechargeables. You definitely want to get those when you're using transmitter. So you don't have to keep buying batteries, but the double A's do last quite a while in a transmitter, uh, quite a few months. Next up, we have the European converter so we can plug this charger in. A very nice charger comes with it. This is set up for three cell. Don't try to charge a 4S on this. Definitely not going to work. And it does have the American plug on here so we can plug this right into the wall so I can get charged and it probably takes around an hour or so to charge the battery that comes with it. A nice little bag here that comes with it. Open that up for you. And they do send you a 3S. This is a 1500 that comes with this. You can run it 4S. I would probably not go any higher than 1500 4S on here because it's gonna get pretty heavy. So 1300 4S is probably about perfect in the 4S range. You also get really, really nice nuts that come for your motors. Those are counterclockwise and clockwise nuts. And these are the three millimeter stems on here. That's pretty standard in the industry. And we have two sets of props. Very, very nice that we have two sets of props. You can also run tri props on this copter as well. So if you don't want to run the stock props, that's no problem there. But these are great for racing. And up next we have a GoPro mount that they include with this. So that's very nice. Guys that, that want to fly a GoPro, you hook this up, there's instructions and there's an exploded view of this inside the user manual. And I'll show you how to hook this up. Very, very nice that they include that with it. Because most times you have to buy those separately, which is kind of annoying. JJRC was nice enough to include one. Also, we have extra zip ties here for any other accessories you might put on there and an extra bind plug there. And a couple extra zip ties as well. This might be for strapping down your GoPro. These are the thinner style zip ties. Don't try to strap down a battery with these because these will break pretty easily. But for a GoPro, or other action cam that you want to put on top here. These are just fine. So that's it. That's everything that's included with the JJRC P200. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and show and tell. I had a good time flying this one. This is definitely a win from me. So check out the specs below, go through the full review. I'll show you all the pros and cons of this one. And I'm gonna show you some of the, the best things and some of the shortcomings about the 200. So very, very nice first start from JJRC getting into the pro class racing series. Very, very nice. So check out the P200 from our friends below. Please do click subscribe as well. I'm Justin Davis. Thanks for hanging out again. I'll see you on the next one.